This is David. He's coming to the Silly Isles with me. He's got a Westerly Griffin 26. New to sailing. This is me enjoying a few pints with David the night before we head off. The trip from Yall on the south coast of Ireland to the Scilly Isles on the west coast of England just off Cornwall is 130 miles as the crow flies and it should take David and I 26 to 28 hours if we can achieve an average of four knots along the way. I love it when the voyage finally starts, all the planning, all the waiting for the perfect weather window to arrive, and you can finally set the sails. I knew the weather was going to be calm and not a lot of wind for this passage, so I decided to roll out the full Genoa and the full mainsail. Got the sails up.
seems every time I do a major passage, like the first time I left you all to sail around Ireland, or this trip to the Sillies, I get to see dolphins. I see them as a, as a spirit looking after me. So, uh, we're out of sight of land. Um, it's all going good. Still no wind to speak of, but a rolly sea, but it's, it's very comfortable. David's flying along. Right, TJ, let's see you swim. <laughs> Are you warm enough? Are you warm enough? I too easy. See, all the dolphins again, they all came back again. All the dolphins came back again. Did you have a sleep earlier on? So with the pressures of deciding the right weather winter to leave y'all, six hours at sea, the sun beating down at us, there's one thing left to do and one man mad enough to do it, jump in the sea. on the face, Skipper! Refreshing! Woo! <laughs> no, we're on a collision course there, TJ. Yeah, I'll pull it. Feel better now? Well done David O'Gorman, now with all the excitement done, it's time to watch the beautiful sunset and sail into the scary night. Dave, getting it done, reefing down for the night. I think it's a case of no wind. The darkness in the night came and went. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a pleasure to see the sun come over the horizon. And with it came a strong breeze, unfortunately it was on the nose. But at this stage we were nearing on the Isles of Scilly. I've seen a lot of sunrises in my life, but they never look as beautiful as the ones from a boat in the middle of the sea. That's just a little bit nerve-wracking. I spoke to him on the radio though, he said he's going to alter course. 
All right, well, he ordered altered course, so he's getting across in front of us. Which is very nice one. So after 24 hours of trying to keep aware, all of a sudden, woohoo, land ho! Okay, finally made it to the Sillies. Pretty spectacular so far. So we're going in between Cromwell's Castle and Hangman's Rock. Doesn't sound very inviting, does it? Anyway, it is just a fantastic location. It's TJ ahead of me. Entering New Grimsby Sound in the Silly Islands. Coming in between Cromwell's Castle and Hangman's Rock. So far, from the sea anyway, it's spectacular looking. So there's Dave and myself getting to the Silly Isles. It was exhausting, but what a place. There's Dave's boat moored behind me. Only one thing left to do, go over and crack a tinny. Thanks for watching, and next time I'll show some of the shenanigans we got up to.